Many web designers refer to themselves as front-end designers. If you've ever heard that term, you've probably also heard the expression back-end, client-side, or server-side within the same discussion. In this chapter, we're going to be exploring front-end technology, so it would probably help for us to define what front-end refers to and what front-end design is in general. Well, in the simplest terms, front-end could refer to the UI layer of websites, you know, the things that people see and interact with. Back-end usually describes the processes that happen on the server that help make things work. Client-side and server-side generally refer to the same things and are often used interchangeably with front and back-end. The most common languages for creating front-end content are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Most of the designers that call themselves front-end designers are proficient in some mixture of these languages, if not all of them. In the past, front-end design has referred to the design of any content that doesn't rely on server-side processing. Recently, however, a lot more development is being done within the browser itself. Many of the tasks that in the past would have required a server are now being done within the browser by using powerful JavaScript libraries. This has led some to use the term front-end developer to denote developers that prefer to process information within the browser. You know, in many cases, these terms tend to overlap, so don't be surprised to see somebody refer to themselves as a front-end designer or a front-end developer and really mean exactly the same thing. As a general rule, front-end designers are more visual designers than they are programmers. While languages like HTML and CSS are required to create their designs, most don't really consider themselves developers in the purest sense of the word. Here's a general list of some elements of web design that front-end designers are responsible for. Creating mock-ups and establishing visual standards, structuring content semantically, ensuring the site's accessibility, controlling typography, page layout, form design, interactivity, animation, and creating images and icon assets. Now, obviously, that is not a complete list, and some designers will specialize in specific areas of front-end design, while others might have a blended skill set that allows them to work on broader tasks. The truth is, there's no one thing that accurately describes all front-end designers. Most will work across multiple disciplines and tackle several areas of design. However, while it's not unheard of to have people that do both front-end and back-end development, most front-end designers aren't full-fledged developers as well. In the end, if you're a front-end designer, you'll probably focus on the areas of front-end design that appeals to you the most. Just be sure to explore all of the various areas of front-end design so that you have a broader understanding of how all the various technologies fit together.